this is Borrego. Will you get a minute and talk to me? The weatherman, go ahead. Okay, um, yeah, the, the things that I told you were, the one came from uh, Central, that 1208 was down at race mile 140, and they wanted their chase crew here in Borrego to know that, but I don't have a frequency for them. Channel 11, that's uh, copied it. Uh, be advised. Weatherman, this is 10, Ba is the original adventure. And that's where it all started, the Ba 1000. They took off from Takati, they gave him a map, you know, said, hey, the first guy to La Paz wins. There's nothing like Baja anywhere else. It's kind of like asking a football player, you know, why do you want to make it to the Super Bowl? This is the Super Bowl of off-road racing. Most sports take one ball, this one takes two. And they better be solid. <laughs> Baja is like the wild, wild west of the old days, but it's still alive down there. It's an addiction. You can't quit. One of the things is if he is, I tried three times to no avail. All right. In 1979, my uncle Larry Raglan introduced my family to desert racing, and that's what led us to Baja. Baja's beaten me a lot more than I've beaten it, but I'm going to keep trying until I get it done. Okay. Hey, I'm gunning for the biggest guys in the sport. I'm out dollared by 90% of the guys in my class, but that never slows us down. The 12 race is at race mile 155, being close to the next pit before the silt set. Living the racing life is 24-7, and now you've combined your marriage, your finances, everything's all hooked into one, and when it comes to being married, there is no separate corners. I still don't have blinds or shutters or a backyard or a finished media room, and I don't know how many times I said, you know what, that's it, I'm tired of this, I'm tired of everyone's attitude, I don't know, I keep coming back for more abuse. Well, wait, wait, what did you want me to tell us? The investment for us, we have about a $350,000 race truck, and we have a $200,000 free runner, we have a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of chase trucks. It's a big investment to try to beat Bob. Chase guy, put 12 away. That's how we roll. Got it. Welcome to Ensenada, Baja, Mexico for the Baja 500. <laughs> Tomorrow's the big day, and we went down to do a final shakedown on our truck, and the alternator doesn't work. If that would have happened tomorrow morning, we'd have been out of the race. This is the number 142 class one car that I will be driving. that we bring a crew together that's 30 people from all walks of life. And we come here and we work towards a common goal. I've finished 10 races in the top three in my class, so I'm right there, but I've only won once. I'm beyond getting a nice finish, I wanna win. During my life, I always wanted to be a professional race car driver, and when you're 19 years old, that seems more realistic than it does at 38. And I'm in a place where I know I'm a pretty good driver, and I want to be able to say that I won something that's worth winning. This year, we've got two cars, and we're taking a team of approximately 30 people down there with eight or nine chase vehicles because we're finishing this race regardless of what it takes. Hey, everybody in my class in Trophy Truck, look out because we're gunning for you. Tom Carl, see you at Baja. Well, that was John from Martinson Racing, and we'll see you guys in Baja. Got a one inch race through five three zero race mile. Everybody, give me a little air time here.
I need to clear something up with 1208 rate.